In this video, I'm going to explain the meaning of special general ledger indicators in SAP S4HANA. Now, to fully understand this video, you have to know the meaning of a reconciliation account. I have already posted a video about this, so please check it first before watching this one. We now understand that whenever we post a transaction to a supplier, it is also automatically posted to the reconciliation account assigned to the supplier. And then the total balance of the reconciliation account is reported in the balance sheet. One of the other accounts that we have to report in the balance sheet is the vendor down payment account. And this is the total amount that we have already paid to the vendor without receiving any service or any products in return. And how do we get to the balance of the vendor down payments account? Now let's assume that we have the same five vendors. Then we have to go to each vendor and we have to check how much down payments we paid to each of them. Then we are going to add the amounts together to get to the total amount of the vendor down payments account. So the vendor down payments account is another reconciliation account. And it also includes numbers and the transaction posted from the different vendors. Now let's assume that I am posting a transaction, I am posting a payment to the supplier in SAP. How do I tell SAP that this payment should be considered a vendor down payment and go to the vendor down payments reconciliation account or if it should be considered a regular payment for a regular service and it should be posted to the accounts payable reconciliation account. To do this, we have to use the special general ledger indicator. And it is a very, very simple concept. So this is a field that is going to be available in any financial transaction you are posting to the vendor. So whenever we are posting a payment to the vendor, for example, you are going to find the field special GL indicator. And if you put any value in this field, this way you are telling SAP that instead of using the standard and the regular accounts payable reconciliation account, we are going to use a different reconciliation account that we assigned in the configuration. Now, this is going to get much easier once I show it to you on the system. So now I'm going to demonstrate on SAP S4HANA how to configure the special GL indicator. And then I'm also going to post a financial entry so we can see the impact of this indicator. The example for special general ledger indicators I'm going to demonstrate today is for down payments. So now I'm going to start by posting a down payment to the supplier. Then we can check the financial entry and then check how we configured the special general ledger indicator. So to post a down payment to a supplier, go to accounting, financial accounting, accounts payable, document entry, down payment, down payment. So this is a similar transaction to the outgoing transaction, uh, to the outgoing payments, but this one requests a special general ledger indicator in this field. So the uh, posting and the document date are going to be today. The account number is this is for the vendor, so this is our account number. And the special general ledger indicator I'm going to use, you can check this box. And these are the available down payment special general ledger indicators. Uh, the one I'm going to use is X, down payment without invoice. And the bank account number is this one. The amount I'm going to pay is 2000. And the value date is the same as the posting date. Then hit enter. Then insert the amount again and hit enter. Then click on post. Now I'm going to display the document I just posted. So display. This is the financial entry I just posted. And as you see, it looks exactly the same as a regular payment. So we have a credit to the bank account and we have a debit to the supplier account. So this is the bank account number and this is our supplier number. Now, if I go to the general ledger view, click here you see that this entry has been posted to the down payments vendor account instead of the regular reconciliation account. Because when we posted this entry, we specified a special general ledger indicator. And this way, SAP understood that this payment to the vendor is considered a down payment and should be posted to this account instead of the accounts payable reconciliation account. So now I'm going to display the configuration for this one so you can understand exactly how it works. To display the configuration, I'm going to open a new session. Go to transaction SPRO, enter. Click on SAP reference IMG. 
go to financial accounting accounts payables and accounts receivables here then business transaction down payments made and here you have the define alternative reconciliation accounts for down payments now to understand more about this you can click on this icon to display the documentation or you can click here to open the transaction now this is the special general gel indicator i used x you can see there are many other special gel indicators this is the one i'm using double click here this is my chart of accounts enter and here as you see if the reconciliation account is this one and this is the one that we assigned in the supplier master data then if we use the special general ledger indicator x the posting should go to this special GL account which is the down payments account and now you understand how it works uh, the same concepts also apply to customers so anything that goes for vendors also goes for customers so customers also have reconciliation accounts they also have a special general ledger indicators and it works exactly in the same way so this is it for the reconciliation accounts and the special general ledger indicators Hope it was easy for everyone to understand. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would be happy to support. Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, follow me on LinkedIn, and also help me by sharing the videos so other people can find them.